of the DH, this allows him an opportunity to play every day. And I understand yeah. some other guys will get some time, but. Justin Smoke sends one deep to right field. That's gone, huh? That's gone. Man, it is interesting to try to tell where these balls are going. And Justin Smoke connects and rudely greets Dwayne Underwood in his first inning of the season. Four to one Brewers on top. You, you know how I knew that was gone? I, I'm listening to the dugout sounds and I'm here. <laughs> rah, rah. It's all you got to go by That's right it. now, EK. See this pitch up in the zone, maybe even out of the zone, but it's out over the plate. So Smoke's able to get to it. He's just watching that thing. It hits the fair pole, foul pole, whatever you want to call it. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. And today the Giants have made a move, and I was going to make a video on it. I said, well, why not just jump in live and just cover it live right here with the San Francisco Giants signing Justin Smoke, who is a very powerful hitter, and he had a big season in 2017. Now, that's 2017. It's been a while, but he hit 38 home runs that year with 90 RBIs, hit 270. I mean, he was an all-star, looked like, and this guy was just going to be huge for the Blue Jays. And then after that, he hit 25, and then in 19, he only hit 22, and his batting average dropped all the way to 208. The Milwaukee Brewers signed him. This year, hoping that he could bring some power to the team, and unfortunately, he didn't have a great year at all. His his average is even lower now at 186 for the season, and they've given him plenty of opportunities in 33 games. He's at 113 at-bats. He has had five home runs, 15 RBI, struck out 40 times, and like I said, a 186 batting average on-base percentage is a little bit better, 220, 262. I mean, it's not very good for an on-base percentage. You want to have that on-base percentage at least 300, so even that is bad, but he can work a walk. It's not like he can't get on base at all, but it's been rough, and Milwaukee decided to go ahead and designate this guy for assignment, and the Giants jumped on it. So Justin Smoke is going to be a San Francisco Giant. He is on a minor league deal. I assume he's going to go to Sacramento to start. We will check out this article here. The Giants have added another power bat for their playoff push on Wednesday. The Giants announced they have signed Justin Smoke to a minor league deal. The switch hitter has been added to the player pool and will begin at the alternate site in Sacramento. And uh, here is the, the announcement. John Heyman got it. Alex got it here. The Giants announced that they have signed Justin Smoke to a minor league deal. So the switch hitter was having a rough year with the Brewers. I don't know if this guy's got anything left to offer, but it is some power there. It does add some depth and uh, kind of exciting, you know, because you hear that name. I'm here. I'm thinking of the 2017 Justin Smoke, but uh, obviously that's not where he's at at this point in his career. 186 with five home runs in 33 games a year after hitting 22 in 121 games for the Jays. So Justin Smoke, former Texas Rangers selected number two overall in the 2008 draft, an all-star in 17, like I said. The guy is has got a ton of power, but I just don't know what we're going to be able to get from him. If anything, maybe he'll never even play an actual regular season meaningful game with the Giants, but maybe he will. You never know. Remember 2010? Remember 2014? Remember how you pick up guys who people are like, who is this dude? Who is this Cody Ross we get on waivers? Who is this? Travis, what uh, Travis Ishikawa guy? Who is this guy that we bring back? Why are we bringing him back? Um, and then they all get these big home runs and and help out in the push. That's a couple examples, but there's more. So I love the depth. I love the opportunity they were giving Justin Smoke to get back in the big leagues, and I think it's pretty cool. So hopefully he works out with the Giants, and hopefully we get the chance to see him play in a Giants uniform at some point. Um, I don't know if it's going to happen or not. But uh, Giants were definitely all over that. And uh, let's go jump on Twitter here and see some of the thoughts. And um, it is going to be interesting to see here. Is he postseason eligible? Uh, he has to be added to the 40th man roster before the 15th. So he may not even be postseason eligible, but that's only about six days away here. Stat-wise, not much different from Panda. Smoke with a lower batting average, a little more pop. You know, but I love that power, that chance to go deep at any moment. You know, you put him up there and a smoke screen, don't you think? And uh, yeah, a lot of interesting thoughts here on smoke. Liked him on the Jays. Didn't he make an all-star team? Yes, 2017. Um, Mariners in town. We pick up long ago prospect of theirs. Justin Smoke is Chris Davis. That is not a bad comparison. You got the guy with power, guy that doesn't have very high batting average, can't get on base that much, but at any point in time, if he connects, that ball is out of here. Remember, Steve, we used to see guys like that back in the 80s, obviously. And uh, those are your guys that 
can uh, can swing the bat, but uh, that's about it. Rob Deer uh, can can swing the bat, but if he does not make contact, he is going to strike out about 250 times per season. So that's where we're at. Smoke and mirrors. Uh, Justin Smoke with the San Francisco Giants. Do we have any thoughts? Let me know, guys know what you think. John Costa is here. Curtis Hendricks. I've seen Smoke do some cool things. So hopefully he ends up in at least one game. Smoke isn't eligible for the playoffs. I think they need to hurry up and put him on the 40-man to make him eligible. But there's a reason they brought him over, and they brought him over for that purpose. Maybe they're just maybe it's just depth if there's an injury. I just want a card from him in a Giants uniform. Curtis Hendricks. Uh, we finally get a home run hitter. He does have pop. Like I said, 38 home runs a few years ago, but we have not seen that power from him in a while, and he is not that hot, Ivan Santana, to answer your question. In fact, he has been struggling. But, you know, a lot of times a change in scenery helps. But then again, Milwaukee was a change of scenery because he was with Toronto forever. He was with the Mariners. He was a uh, former Texas Rangers draft pick. Played a little bit with the Rangers, but not much. And, uh, yeah, with Milwaukee this year, he was uh, – I talked about him when they signed him, and I thought it was a nice pickup, you know, bring some power to the, the Milwaukee Brewers. But you have Yelich having an offseason. The Brewers in general just having an offseason. They do have some nice bullpen pieces, and I think they're going to bounce back. I think the Brewers are going to maybe have a chance to slip into that wild card spot, but it's going to be tough. So the Brewers have been very disappointing, and Justin Smoke, 186, and that is a really – Poor batting average, but awesome, good power. Former All Star Rakesh P. Brandon DeWile says, "Cool, nice pickup." Uh, Ivan, I think it's just depth. I think it's just you know there could be injuries, there could be a situation where we got to throw him in there. We did have, uh, we did just release someone who surprised me. And that was Aviatal Avalino, but Avalino is not a power hitter. So I think the Giants are like, you know what? Let's grab a power hitter, a pinch hit type guy off the bench, um, somebody that we could use if we need a long ball. Of course, we have a rough right now. And Ruff is, I think, better than Smoke, to be honest. I'd rather have Ruff any day. But having said that, Ruff could get hurt. If somebody could get hurt. I'm not hoping for that, of course, but it could happen. So having a little bit of depth there, like Mile High 6 Sports says, depth for you guys. They'll add him to the big league roster. Pronto, heavy bat. Love it. Steven C. is loving this one. It's Coit. What position do you think the Giants need more help? You know, their positioning is pretty damn good. We, we're pretty. I'm pretty happy with what we got with Solano here. You need that bat in there. He's going to cover second base. You got... Flores is going to cover another spot in the infield. You have Crawford if you want good defense. And then you have Longoria, and that's four right there, not even counting belts at first, who's been tearing it up. In other words, our infield is set. And uh, there's a couple I didn't even mention, you know, with Sandoval and other guys who can play in infield positions. The infield is set. Um, and then catcher is pretty much set. We have Joey Bart. And obviously, Trump has been a quality backup. And Trump has more power than Bart. Bart hasn't even gone deep yet. And then in the outfield with Yaz, Dickerson, I mean, we're fine in the outfield there. Duggar's a guy I don't think I don't know, he's out there with some depth if we need to bring him back at any point. So, you know, all in all, I don't know if there's a ton of changes that the Giants, obviously um, the man with the plan, um, where, you know, the longtime Giants prospect has been doing great, Austin Slater. But, um, yeah, I just don't see any, like, glaring weakness in our lineup. What do you guys think? Do you think that we need uh, anyone else? Is there a spot that's – that's weak right now for the Giants because I'm just running through the outfield, the infield, the catcher's position, and I feel like we're pretty well stacked at every position, and we can even put rough at first base if we need. And, uh, you know, like I said, we do have Daniel Robertson, another guy, another infielder. And uh, with Dickerson, Yaz, um, you know, rough, Dubon. I haven't even talked about Dubon. Uh, Basabe is a good defensive replacement. So pretty well stacked right now. I mean, I, I wouldn't say stacked like the Dodgers are, but I mean, I'm, I'm happy with the roster. One of the coolest last names in baseball, at least he's got that absolutely. Justin Smoke. He was meant to be a big leaguer just on that name. Now you hear someone named um, Nathaniel Clockenstein. You're like, yeah, minor leaguer for life, man. Justin Smoke, big leaguer. Aaron Volkalukic, minor leaguer. Mike Trout, big leaguer. Robertson, too. We don't need anything. We're Giants, absolutely. Do you think the Giants are going to play? Are they supposed to not play? Why wouldn't they play? I just pray Moronta, Smiley come back. Yes, yeah, Smiley should be coming back soon. Moronta as well. For this year, I'm not comfortable at the catcher position. Uh, we could use a catcher if there's one position. But, you know, we have Joey Bart. We have uh, Trump. And uh, Heineman, I assume, is still in the organization at, at the uh, secondary camp. So. Yeah, I mean, obviously would love to have Posey, but uh, he's taking the year off. So um, if there is one position, yeah, you're right. Uh, 
Posey, I mean, uh, Bart has not definitely cemented himself as the Giants catcher. Giants are doing terrific, but we've seen this movie before. They got really hot last year. Hope this season. The difference is the Rakesh is that last year they got hot in July and then fell out in August. We're in mid-September now, and the Giants are in a playoff spot. So July is done past. August is done past. And we're in mid-September, and the Giants are in a playoff spot. So this is not like, you know, uh, a hot July or something where there's plenty of time for us to fall off. If, if we're going to not make the playoffs, it's going to be uh, decided in the next couple of weeks. We are there. The My Own Machine. <laughs> Dude, I love that name. It's quite the My Own Machine has got one of the best names in baseball. What happened to Longo? He came out of the field uh, in the ninth inning yesterday. Uh, let me check the update on Longoria. I think that he's okay. Should be back in the lineup. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it doesn't doesn't show him going on the IL or anything like that. So hopefully he'll be okay. I think the Giants lineups have been announced for today. So we'll take a look at that while we're here. Do a little pre pre game, a little pre pre game for the Giants. But I do want to talk about that Justin Smoke move and see what you guys thought about it. Uh, when you first hear that, you're like, "Holy cow, that's actually pretty cool. That's pretty big news." But yeah, it might not be big news because Justin Smoke has been struggling so much the last few years. So um, I heard that the Giants lineup was announced, but I'm having trouble finding it right now but uh i thought i saw it a little bit earlier let me go to check here out uh at mlb.com we might be able to find it there and yes we do have a lineup so uh let's go ahead and do a pre a pre, -pre game here while i'm here live with you guys and just check out the lineup we're obviously going to check it out again tonight but you can see uh that longoria is there hitting sixth at third base so apparently he is fine um, loving it. Look at the home runs here. Eight, eight, seven, five, four from Crawford. So absolutely love it guys. Um, let me check some of the comments here. You know, Bailey Garcia, Bart, Trump, Posey. I'm good. Darren Ford. I remember that minor leaguer. It's very smoky, literally orange. I don't know about this deal, but I trust Zaidi a lot. He's improved the team in a very short time. Loving it. Ivan Santana, Nick Alcare. Best of luck to the Giants. Hope they can go far. Mets are trash. Nick Alcare is a Mets fan. Thank you for jumping in here. And I'm sorry about your Mets. And dumb guy, he, the Giants just tweeted a photo of the smoke in the air by the, by the park. Yeah, we have a smoke problem. Are you saying, oh, is that why somebody asked me if they'll play? Um, I, I don't know. Maybe not because of the smoke. They haven't had to cancel any yet, so hopefully we get it in. Uh, what are your predictions for the standard wild card positions, not the extended wild card playoff game? Yeah, you guys, um, I, I have different predictions now. I made a video on it for my members and my patrons, but for you guys, I will go ahead and let you know as well. So I'm going to have to be reminded of that, guys. So let me jump to the standings. As soon as I see the standings, I'll remember all my predictions. So um, the question is, what are my predictions? I did have Braves and Phillies um, to start with the National League. Yeah, Braves and Phillies in. At the, they're the two at the top. I think they are going to be the ones to make it. Over here, I had the Brewers actually uh, getting in as well as the um, Reds. I ho I ho I'm hoping that the Reds can jump in and the Cubs. So I, I predict the Cardinals are the ones left out, even though right now they're in second. I'm predicting the Cardinals get left out there. And it's the Cubs and Brewers here. And over here, it's going to be uh, the Dodgers and Giants with the two, uh, excuse me, Dodgers and Padres in the top two spots. And the two wild card teams, I got the Reds and your San Francisco Giants. I think they will slip in. This team is just hot. I'm loving it. Obviously, I'm completely biased. I've been watching them every day, but I think the Giants will slip into that wild card slot. And in the American League, I got the Rays Yankees. I'm sorry, Rays Blue Jays. Yankees as a wild card, Rays, Blue Jays as the top two after all. And uh, if I had said that at the beginning of the season, people would have said I was on crack. But I had the Rays winning the division, Yankees second, Blue Jays third. Um, right now it's Blue Jays in second. So Rays, Blue Jays, White Sox, Indians, and A's and Astros. Pretty much how it is. And my wild card teams are going to be the Twins and the Yankees. So pretty standard in the American League. Um, what do you guys think of that? SF Romero in my city. It looks like Fire Nation took over. Is that a Pat Burrell reference? Remember him? ESPN said 70%. I lost the comment. 70% guaranteed for Giants to make the playoffs. Well, 70%. That's not bad. Hum, baby, I just figured we got a one-fourth of the season left. Just don't want to get too cocky. Never, 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 Rakesh. But, uh, yeah, you're right. I mean, it's not a guarantee at all. Is there talk of cancellation due to smoke in the air, uh, not the player? The game is getting canceled due to smoke. 
we picked up Justin Smoke and the Giant, and we just couldn't handle it. We had to cancel the game out of respect for Justin Smoke. No, but honestly, I haven't heard. It's very possible if the smoke is too much, we'll have to wait and see. Brandon DeWild, I'm moving out of here, retirement to Seaside, Oregon. Uh, no more smoke. Memphis Reigns with all the fires in Cali. Do we really have to sign someone with the name of Smoke? I didn't even consider that. I would have made some kind of a, a, a joke in the thumbnail or something. That is a great comment. What's a good team? Uh, Travis Namanaste, Rakesh P. The sky looks insane in the Bay Area. Yeah, I don't know. You might be right. We may not have a game. Yeah, I have a big one. Silicon Valley is horrible with smoke. Is he going to replace Sandoval? Uh, everyone else, thank you so much for jumping in. Just talking about this move here. RM Yankees, LOL. Yankees ever struggling. And uh, so you don't have faith in the Marlins making it. No, I'm sorry. I I, 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 I hope that they do. Um, it would be a great story. But uh, I, I predicted, the, I'm trying to, honestly, they might, but I was trying to stick with the Reds. I mean, I had the Reds going all the way, and I, and I had a hard time. I, I still see them as a possibility of sneaking in, and I'm not trying to stick to that. So I'm still going to have faith in those Reds to make find a way into those playoffs. But, yeah, Marlins definitely could be the ones. Eric, when's, when the last time you missed a game? Like completely didn't watch or listen. Uh, this year I haven't missed any yet. Last season uh, I missed uh, I missed I missed a bunch from TV, but I always either listen or watch. Uh, last year I'm sure I missed a few though. I'm sure I missed a few last year, um, but this year I haven't missed any yet completely. Um, obviously I don't listen every single second, but I definitely follow every game. Niners will not cover in game one. Uh, guys, make sure to check out SF Barrier Sports Talk. He'll be covering all your 49ers needs. And I would love to watch some games and jump in with him in a post game once or twice during the football season. But I'm not going to be covering them on this channel because I'm not a football expert. <laughs> What's up, Texas Sports TV? Uh, how you doing? The signing is bigger than most people think. He has four 20 home run season, almost hit 40 a few years ago. Sure, he struggled. The power is still up. Steven C, love that prediction. I hope that you're right. I hope that we get to see him. I hope smoke does some damage. Um, but uh, it also is a great point that we have enough smoke in the Bay Area and we don't need more smoke. Uh, Trevor Leahy, no smoke in Lake Tahoe. We got to get me a smoke now. Uh, Steven C, he's joining one of the best hitting rosters and hitting staffs. He'll bounce back with us. I would hope so. Not a lot of Mets fans are like him. Uh, it doesn't even smell that bad. It's just orange. Trevor, I thought that was a bunch of smoke. If Hunter Pence played today, he would miss every pop-up. Just kidding. Love the guy. Yeah, miss Hunter Pence and haven't heard back. His career is pretty much done. I'll be surprised if we see him again. Um, you play MLB nine innings. Swear I saw a home baby club. Um, I'm not sure about that. Uh, I know what I mean here. Will Federico, Eric, you are a true fan. Love your passion for the game. Thank you, Will. Uh, appreciate that so much. And everyone else, Brandon DeWild, Ivan Santana, and everyone else, best baseball channel on YouTube. Highly recommended to friends, and I appreciate that. So I just wanted to, guys, just wanted to jump in here for about 20 minutes. Did not want to go too long. So I've given you my updated predictions, and I've also given you my thoughts on Justin Smoke. I would love to see him, but, do, do you know, I'm not a person who thinks a person's going to go from – you know, being a duck to suddenly being a lion uh, just because they put on something different. The guy is a 200 hitter, and that's what we're going to get from him. But he does have power, and I have appreciated the matchups that, that Gabe Kapler has been finding so far with his pinch hitting assignments and stuff like that. So, you know, maybe, maybe uh, if Gabe can put him in there in the right spots, we can see some timely home runs from Justin Smoke. Um, he's not going to go out there and hit 300 or 350. He's not Donovan Solano. He's not Yaz. He ain't uh, anything like that, but the dude has power. So I'm excited about it, and I'm happy to have him in our organization. Um, he has not been playing that well, SL, but he does have the pop. So uh, half an inch of suit everywhere out here at Lodi. Stuck in Lodi again. Lodi right there by uh, Stockton, uh, north of Stockton, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Lodi, nice, nice town. I love Lodi. Um, Travis Namaste, Brandon DeWild. Thank you. Volume up, distortion on. Well said, man. 200 years for 10 years. I don't know. Yeah, he's a 200 hitter, guys. He's a 200 hitter. But like I said, and uh, by the way, um, you know, you know, this is going to sound crazy, but I'm going to throw something out here before I go. This it, it, it is going to be unbelievable, but it is possible. It is possible that the manager, the National League Manager of the Year is going to be Gabe Kapler because this San Francisco Giants team was thought to be absolute trash 
by non-Giants fans going into this season. We knew this team had talent and they were going to be decent, but most people thought this was just a trash bottom of the barrel team. And if they go out there and make the playoffs, and especially if they win a few playoff series, I think that legit we could have the manager of the year and it would be Gabe Kapler. Who would have ever thought that possible when they made that hire? So I'm not saying I'm necessarily voting for him, but I'm just telling you guys that would be insane. Um, I know this ain't related. Anyone seeing the orange skies right now? Yeah, it is nuts, guys. Um, Eric, what do you think are the top 10 fan bases in baseball as far as loyalty? Well, I haven't been in every single fan base, so it's hard to give a perfect ranking because I, of lack of experience on my part. Um, and I don't even know if I can give you a 10, but I can tell you some of the fan bases I've been around that I've been impressed with um, and some that I haven't. Uh, I was super impressed with the Royals. The Royals are, are true fans. They are hardcore over in Kansas City. They do not play. Um, St. Louis, oh my God. St. Louis Cardinals fans, they are all over the place in St. Louis, and they uh, they come to that park in in uh, in hordes, man. They, they show up ready to rock and roll. So St. Louis and Kansas City was really impressed with. Texas uh, Rangers, uh, they didn't impress me too much. Uh, obviously, there was fans there, and there, there's Rangers fans if you go to the ballpark. But around Arlington and the area, I didn't feel a lot of hype for the Rangers. Um, and I also didn't feel a ton of hype for Tampa Bay Rays when I was in that area. So uh, two that I think are super loyal. I was impressed with the Cardinals and the Royals, and I wasn't as impressed with the uh, with the uh, Rays. Although the, state, the stadium was packed out, but there was a reason for that. It was a special promo day um, honoring some of the victims of the um, – of a shooting in uh, Orlando that one year. So the, the park was packed out, but just around the area, you know, when you're, you're hanging out around the area, I didn't feel a lot. I didn't see a lot of Rays fans, but uh, yeah, that's where I'm at there. So those are a couple of the more loyal and less loyal ones that I've noticed, but also uh, I've been to LA. Obviously they're pretty hardcore down there. Um, been to LA plenty of times. A's fans are pretty hardcore in the Oakland area. So but Giants, it's all about the Giants. You know, I haven't been to Philadelphia yet, so I would love to check that out. But, uh, guys, that's where I just wanted to jump in here. Uh, in, uh, this is a crazy one here. Hopefully we'll have a game tonight. We'll see. But uh, because of Justin Smoke, we may not. So uh, there's a lot of smoke going on, smoke and mirrors, right here in San Francisco. And we'll find out if we got a game tonight or not because of the, uh, of the smoke from the fire. So I don't know, guys. It's going to be interesting. But I uh, just wanted to talk about Justin Smoke. Get your thoughts below. And uh, how did you feel about the Giants taking Mad Bum deep? We got to do what we got to do. We got to do what we got to do. Obviously, you know, he's not with the Giants anymore. He's with the D-backs and he's pitching for the D-backs. His goal is to strike us out. Our goal is to take him deep. Loving it. I love it. But I love Mad Bum, man. Mad Bum's going to be in the Hall of Fame. Although, excuse me, the Wall of Fame for the Giants. Maybe the Hall of Fame, but he's going to have to probably have a, a few more good years left, guys. What do you think? Is, is, is anyone in here think that Mad Bum is a Hall of Famer if he retires today? Is Mad Bum a Hall of Famer because of his playoff contributions and his World Series success? I think he's a, probably a little short right now. Probably needs a few more good years left. But uh, let me know in the chat what you guys think of um, Mad Bum getting in the Hall. Is he a Hall of Famer or you know, or not? Guys, let me know. So Random Dan, Juan, Juan Camillo, and if you are new to the the channel, if you're watching this after uh, watching this on replay, or if you're in the chat right now, and you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Luis Tapia does not like the Justin Spoke signing. Yeah, it is. It's not. It's not the most splashiest signing in the in the history of the Giants. You know, it's not Barry Bonds, but you know, hey, the guy get, got power, and I and I really am impressed with some of the pinch hitting. That uh, I don't know if Kapler gets the shout out or simply just got to say the Giants have been tearing up the ball when they pinch hit, but they have been doing that. So. Uh, Wall of Fame, yes. Hall of Fame, no. Memphis Reigns, I'm with you. Um, he does allow a lot of home runs. But Random Dan says, yes, Mad Bum is a Hall of Famer. I'm loving it. Giants Wall of Famer, 100%. Hall of Famer, yeah. Because of the postseason and his few consistent years, SL says yes. I think he's going to get votes. Um, if he was to retire today, he will get votes. He still has time to to cement his place in Cooperstown, but uh, not the way he's pitched this year. He better figure something out with a quickness. All right, you guys, have a great day. Thank you so much. Look for a pregame later tonight and a postgame. Maybe I'll even, uh, if I have time, I was thinking of doing a pregame of another game of the Astros A's game uh, before the Giants game so we can do a little double pregame if I have time. But if not, I'll be here for the Giants for sure. So you guys have a great one. Thank you so much for your support. I'm going to send you one big thank you to everyone in the chat. Thank you.
And uh, you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you really soon. And congratulations to Justin Smoke for getting picked up really quickly. I know it's just a minor league contract. I know that sucks. I know you're going to miss that big league money for a while. But you know what? At least another team believes in you and we're giving you an opportunity. So show us what you got, Smoke. Let's make it happen. And let's do it. A-S-A, mother freaking P. And you guys have a great day. And uh, one more opinion here is Robert Snow. Biased opinion, but definitely a Hall of Famer. Best season, postseason pitcher of all time. Love it, Robert Snow. You are the man. Thank you so much for jumping into the chat. I really do appreciate that. And uh, we'll definitely see you very soon. Robert and everyone else in the chat, have a great day. And we're going to talk to you next time. Because of the DH, this allows him an opportunity to play every day. And I oh, sorry about that. Let's see Justin Smoke go deep. Because of the DH, this allows him an opportunity to play every day. And I understand yeah. some other guys will get some time, but. Justin Smoke sends one deep to right field. That's gone, huh? That's gone. Man, it is interesting to try to tell where these balls are going. And Justin Smoke connects and rudely greets Dwayne Underwood in his first inning of the season. Four to I'm baby. Enjoy this great game.